I didn't miss any of these people. I wish I could have stayed in Australia, honestly. I had a big night in Adelaide before I left. Basically got on the plane, came straight here, got here last night, uh, woke up wide awake, 3 a.m., super jet lagged. I thought, you know what, I'll come in, a bit of a flow around for the 8 a.m. session. Hi some readers in here, so I was like, fuck, I probably should have tried to stay in bed. But yeah, basically just try to sweat it out. I feel like whether it's a hangover or a jet lag, you don't feel better until you sweat that thing out. So I try to sweat it out as quickly as possible. You win one tournament, you're playing watches now. You can touch it, go ahead. You guys want to touch it? I can spit shine it. Where's it going to go now? It has a special uh, I probably just keep it in a closet until I get a lot of them. I, were, I, like, I like to forget about the, the gold medal so I can like get to the next one, you know what I mean? Showing off for later. This shit. Yeah. I think he wishes. <laughs> wishes he got this. He can't make 155 anymore though. There you go, Twisted Church. Jesus and Jiu Jitsu. Four matches, four submissions, triangle, fist choke, rear naked, rear naked. <laughs> Than armbar. 10k, that's it. This the belt might not look like it, but it was a pretty good, valuable tournament. So feels good, man. Yeah, ready for Fabricio in uh, like two and a half weeks, really. Yeah, it's gonna be super exciting. Um, you know, I feel like they're both guys that you know go at it. You never see either one of them trying to stall. I think Ethan's got you know a very good style for him. Ethan's you know super good at chasing the back. So if I were to predict how the match would go, I think Ethan gets to his back and finishes him. Yes, that's the nicest thing Nicky Ryan's ever said. I think he's lying. I think he doesn't actually believe. You that. know what I actually think? I don't think he's actually gonna get, I mean, he could take Fabricio's back. I honestly think that the fight ends via outside heel hook. My prediction is that there's an arm drag. He denies the arm drag by stepping over. He goes into a Rimiyashi Garami, he reaps outside heel hook. I'm calling it right now. Right now, it's before the match. Call it. I don't even know it's the, the, the 25th. The 25th, I'm calling it now. It's an outside heel hook finish. Subscribe to his website. <laughs> to oh, yeah, details. yeah. And then after, <laughs> after, the plug, you yeah, can get yeah, BJJ Damien, um, outside, the complete guide, outside Ashigarami. He bought the DVD, so he knows what to do in outside Ashigarami, which is very good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, we did yeah. it, bud. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're so strong. <laughs> yes. Dude, he pulled guard. I did actual jits. He pulled guard. Yeah, I saw the first guy. I was like, I'm pretty good. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> yeah. Okay, get that momentum. It's good awesome. to not do a rear naked choke. For, yeah, there's other submissions out there. I had two subs of regulation. Yoko Sankaku. Yoko Sankaku. Regulation. Arm side OT. Juji Katami. Juji Katami OT. Ankle Sinkaku. Regulation. And you pulled the far elbow in, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Since I started speaking Japanese, my Jitsu Lingo, baby. That's it. I thought it was really impressive because he showed, he pulled guard even if it was for half a second. Uh, that's obviously something new. Usually you drop to a knee and shoot. Now he drops to a butt and shoot. So we can count it as a guard pull. He was able to take out uh, Kyle Bame in overtime. Kyle's probably the most, one of the most dangerous guys in overtime. Basically uh, in all of grappling, I would say. He's probably a specialist in that area. So I think it just shows how much Nicky Rudd's still improving now. Uh, and we saw that he was able to get two finishes, make himself 25K, get a nice belt. Ethan went over, competed in Twisted Church. I only saw some highlights of his finish, so I haven't watched the whole tournament yet, but he was able to get 10K. And 10K, that'll last Ethan probably 10 years, honestly. <laughs> That's you, bro. That's me. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. That's fucking awesome. Best match. Yeah. That was uh, one to remember. Where's your trophy? I don't know. They're going to ship it out to me. <laughs> <laughs> I was um, pretty surprised. Um, I, I definitely knew it was one of the better matches because I had a lot of people come up to me after the match and had a lot of messages saying it was their favorite match of the day. So when I heard it, I won. I was like super stoked. Felt very, very honored, very privileged. And um, yeah, next time we'll try to win gold. We start out standing, our opponent sh uh, shoots the two knees and he has a, uh, a head inside single. 
first thing we do, we insert our whistler, we bring our hands to the back of his head. We push him as far down our, our leg as possible, and then we begin pointing our right knee and toes out in this direction. I take a big step over my opponent's body. As I do this, my left hand will insert into his hip like so. My right knee will slide out in this direction, and as I come around the corner, I'm gonna to look to replace my left hand with my right. From here, I continue circling around behind my opponent, getting both of my arms behind his elbows, and we end in a turtle position. We shoot into a, uh, a head inside single, we insert our wizard, and we post our hand on the back of his head. We stuff him as far down our leg as possible, and as we do this, we start pointing our knee and toes out in this direction. This allows us to take a big step over our opponent's body with our left leg. As we do this, my left hand inserts to his hip like so. My right knee will knee slide out in this direction. As we come around the corner, right hand replaces left, and we bring our left hand behind his uh, armpit like so. We circle around to the far side, lock our hands, and now we're going to start attacking our opponent's back. Let's give it a shot. One, two, three. Um, so we're going to look at the same move, just out of a, a bit of a different situation. Um, to be honest, it works. This move works best out of low singles because there's nothing limiting your ability to turn your knee out, which makes the high step easier. So in this situation, we're behind our opponent. He does a good job of hitting a switch on us, and he ends up in a low single like so. From here, I'll just initially post two hands on his back. Once again, we take a big step over. As I take this step, my left hand inserts to his hip. I knee slide out around the corner. Left hand gets replaced by right. And then I look to insert my left hand behind my opponent's armpit. Okay, the reason I'm doing this is because if I don't, he has the ability to start turning back into me, like so, and now it's a scramble position. So once we replace our left hand with our right, we insert our, our uh, left arm behind his armpit so that as he goes to turn in, I can follow him and end up on the far side. So once again, we're gonna start out behind our opponent. He does a good job of hitting a switch on us and he brings his head to the inside. So now he's in a, a low single position. Initially, we're just posting our hands on his back. We're gonna take our big high step over his body with our left leg as we insert our left hand into his hip. We knee slide out around the corner. Left hand gets replaced by right. And then I insert my left hand behind his arm hip. As he goes to turn into me, I just run to the far side and we end up behind our partner. One last time. We start out rear body lock. He hits the switch on us. He ends in the low single. Post our hands on his back, high step over and insert our left hand into his hip. We knee slide out around the corner. Left hand gets replaced by right. And we insert our left hand behind his arm hip. As he goes to turn into us, we run to the far side and we end up behind our partner. Let's give it a shot, one, two, three. Um, we're going over like this little uh, kind of high step counter to a uh, single. It's actually something that I stole from Isaac. He's the one that showed me this move. Um, but yeah, the first one we looked at is just out of a standard single leg. So he shoots to a head inside single on two knees. We stuff the head, we take a big high step over, and we end up behind our partner. And then the, the second situation we looked at is where our opponent hits a switch and ends up in a low single. Um, that's actually the best situation to hit it in because there's, no, uh, there's nothing limiting your ability to turn your knee out, which will make it easier to hit the high step over. I, I feel like that's, that's the meta right now. You know, there's, everybody's in jiu-jitsu, the, the wrestling's getting better. You know, there's a bunch of upsets at ADCC, you know, PJ taking down JT and stuff like this. Um, so I, I think that it's, the wrestling's uh, level is really starting to rise in the sport. The thing people have to realize is that it's not just pure wrestling. You know, it's, it's very different. There's, there's submission threats, um, scoring's much different. So it's, it's, it's gonna look very different from just standard wrestling. They start I've been going here for defense. Is there a better decision I can make? When they, when they underhook? Yeah, so. And then here. So, to be honest, a lot of the times that people do this, because now it's going to make it super hard for me to actually free my foot, they're doing this so they can start to, uh, to invert. So, as they go to start uh, inverting and, and, and going to like enter my legs, I'll look to just start stuffing. Okay, it depends on which leg he goes to do it with. If he goes to enter into my far leg, then I, I grab this knee and this hip, and I just insert my knee into the hip, and then hit the leg and back knee. Um, or a lot of people will hit like a front pummel with this leg and go to enter your near leg. 
So he, he under his through, as he inverts, he front pummels this leg. Exactly, this is probably the more common one. When he goes to do this, I'll just stuff this knee as I turn this knee into his hip, and then I'll hook his bar. But most of the time, like, I'm in reverse, though, even I can't high step, I just allow people to invert so I can take their back. I know he's inverse, so I go off balance. Yep, knee into the hip. Exactly. coming up in about just under three weeks. It's a, it's a tournament, it's got some good names in it. I think it's got um, Oliver Taza, uh, Roberto Jimenez, PJ Barch, um, Jared Hugh, Owen, some really good guys in it. So looking forward to going to London and experiencing the culture there and the crowd there and everything like that. So it should be good. And then jump back on the plane from London and about Four days after, five days after, who's number one um, for that first contract match? Who's number one? I got um, my opponent is Bruno Mateus. He's a training partner of Pedro Mar uh, Marino. Yeah, he seems like a pretty tough, tough opponent. Uh, yeah, no issues doing the back-to-back -back competitions. I don't think um, there's a little bit of time difference, but I feel like I'm like the king of jet lag and fighting right now. So should be, should be alright. I'm wondering if there's my arms in the house. Oh, like it's very, uh, interesting. Very interesting. There's multiplayer games anymore yeah it's just I've been playing like battle royale games for so long that okay. well, multiplayer... Warzone comes out in November. yeah I'll play yeah. Warzone okay. too yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. right now just uh, Apex Legends yeah that's 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 the main game right now that's pretty much all I do besides jiu-jitsu I go home and I play Apex for like eight hours <laughs> I feel like a lot of jiu-jitsu people game for sure. I mean, I feel like jiu-jitsu is filled with, you know, mostly nerds, so, yeah. <laughs> Don't get caught in it. 
there's like three things that I need to uh, complete the bio life path. So if, even if you get rid of one of those three things, you stop one of those three things, it's really hard for me to do the bio life okay, path. Okay. So the three things are, I need a uh, heel the butt connection, so I need to put her heels to her butt. I need a uh, long, long arm, short arm and I need to keep my head on the center line. So if you displace my head, I can't. It's significantly harder for me to buy a like that. Again, like you're doing like a, huh? like a knee cut kind of thing, which I do something similar, but I don't do it the same way as you. That's what it is, that's so, what I'm just doing. Uh, once I get uh, two knees behind, uh, a lot of times, especially if they, they're good uh, at like, trying to retain guard, they'll go, I'll end up in uh, half guard. And then once I'm here, I still keep body lock. I still keep head on the center line. Um, my free leg, I'm pummeling it on top of this leg, and then I'm uh, like, uh, like yeah, like getting off of my knee uh, and raising my hips. And then once I'm here, I'm taking both my knees and dropping them to the opposite side. Okay, that's side. okay. So that was that, that you should freeze the leg. That was different from what I was doing, what you were doing, right? So this is what I do. So I go here, right? Same thing again. I beat this knee here, and I get over, right? The same thing I can, I can do with the, the person can get me in half guard. Yeah. Half guard. Yeah. Half guard. So, what I do is do something, but I would put my head center, uh -huh. and then I would just posting up, and then yeah. cut Once I was, I can continue the body lock, or I switch. Yeah. Right, cross face, and I smash through, or then yeah. go into the But what you're doing is, you're using the, the opposite side leg to move yeah. across. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, once I'm here, right? So, you're here, you, you, do you face the side that you passed it or do you face opposite side? So I'm, I'm, once, once I get my knee over, uh -huh. I'm facing the opposite side. Okay, way. so you're here, boom, and the second the knee's over, you're to here. Uh -huh. Okay, is my head in the chest or is it going to turn down? Uh, keep it, keep it center line, just yeah. face, keep your, keep your ear on the center of your chest, yeah. Uh-huh. This way? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Across, okay. Usually that, like, and then you go straight to Mount of Bob, you see, exactly. so you want to cut across. Yeah. Sick. Thank you, bro. Okay. You obviously had a good, good artist to do that, huh? Yeah, my buddy back in uh, Australia, Tony. Anyone that messes me on Instagram wants to tattoo me. I'm just going to be like, fuck it, do whatever you want. But Peaches is going to come to my camp in Thailand. I said he can come for free if he gets my name tattooed on him. He's going to do it. You got a black eye? Yeah, somebody... Uh, oh, you got two? Yeah, I think Hyson actually, like... He was like, fuck you. Wow. That's close to the eye. Yeah. I was I was actually blurry for a few seconds. I was like, oh, how do you use my third eye? Look <laughs> <laughs> these for these are beautiful. You're a big props guy. Yeah, yeah. Crocky Dillies. That's how we do. Do you have crocs out there? No. Nah. No. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> I see the look in his eyes. <laughs> Disgusted. <laughs> Let him my loose. Are so sore. This is why. This is why y'all be slipping. You see these spider pussy? I'm wide grip, boy. I never yeah. slide up us. I couldn't slide on ice. <laughs> We're gonna get his name tattooed on my ass if he pays for my accommodation and uh, what, uh, flight stay. No, I'll pay for my own flight. You should make him get first class. First, pay for first class. Yeah, pay for the upgrade. All right, he's five foot. Economy says that. First of all, I'll pay. That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> Accommodation, training, and one ladybug. I'm a kid. I don't want a ladybug. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>